Well, it's that time of year again. The time of year where you are lovingly but forcibly removed from the comfort of your own home and tossed into a sea of anxiety, uncertainty, and questionable living situations for the next six to seven months. Yes, my friends, baseball is back, which means spring training is here. I'm down in sunny Dunedin, Florida for my fourth spring training, which means this automatically makes it my fourth um, season as a baseball wife, which blows my mind because time is freaking flying. Now, I know y'all are probably thinking like, Bailey, what the F? You left us hanging for an entire year. And yes, I did. And I'm sorry. I'm not apologizing. I'm calling myself sorry. I am sorry. I'm a sorry person. And there's no excuse for me to go on a year-long hiatus and leaving y'all out there in the cold. Literally so much stuff happened um, over the past year. Last year was just absolutely amazing. And I'm really sorry that I didn't show that. I am apologizing. I'm sorry I didn't share that with y'all. But the good news is I'm, I'm going to make videos dedicated to telling you um, the stories that happened last year. Like... Uh, when Anthony got called up to the big and made his major league debut, which was absolutely incredible and just <sighs> such a dream come true. So amazing for the both of us. Um, so yeah, he got called up to the bigs. Um, then he got hurt. So we were rehabbing. Then um, I released my EP, LC, that you can get on iTunes and Spotify and Apple Music. Um, I released my EP, I performed at Eagle Palooza, which is a big concert in my hometown, um, well close to my hometown, which is a big concert in my alma mater, let me put it like that, Southern Miss shout out, ooh, SMTTT, my, we all just got robbed in Mexico, yep, and, um, so I don't know if y'all remember, but y'all remember me telling y'all I hooked my sister up with my, my husband's best friend slash teammate, well, they got married on New Year's Eve, and it was the most incredible, we had the best time ever. Um, so, y'all, yeah, like I said, a lot happened last year. And I promise to catch you up by doing flashbacks, um, by doing videos that, I don't even know how to say this. I promise to catch, I'm gonna catch y'all up by doing flashback videos, there you go. Anywho, on to the next. Like I said, Hannah, um, my sister, and Jonathan Anthony's best BFF slash teammate got married back on um, New Year's Eve. So that means Hannah is officially a baseball wife and she's going to be mine forever, hopefully, if nobody gets traded. And um, everything's been going really well. So you'll probably see her in like. Well, that's what I'm about to show. That's what I'm about to share with y'all. Is Hannah home? She is home. So, let me wrap this up. Um, spring training. Oh, yes, spring training. Everybody only sees the glitz and the glam of a big league spring training, but nobody sees the process that it takes to get here. Um, so, that's what I'm going to share with you in this episode of The Secret Life of a Baseball Wife. Here comes Hannah. Yeah, it's okay. Come say hey. This is live, y'all. Come see. Huh? I said I won't be live. Come say hey, Hannah. I'm coming. I was just talking about you. What you saying? I'm saying that I officially have you down here as long as nobody gets traded. Y'all, this is Hannah. Come sit. Oh. Sit. I was going to share with them our story. Um. Our journey to get to spring training. I was saying how it's we make it look all fun and like glamorous on Instagram, but because it is. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but to get here was a struggle, and that's what I'm sharing with y'all today. Do you want to go get your nephew? So, like I said, I'm sharing our journey. Here's our journey to spring training. Here's our journey to spring training. Here's our journey 
here's our here's our here's our journey to spring training. So we leave for the season, which is like seven months. We leave for the season in about five hours. Guess how much I've packed? Take a wild guess. If you guessed absolutely nothing, you are absolutely right. I've packed zero. My sister, on the other hand, has enough clothes to last her the entire year. So this leaves me with the daunting task of packing like Wait, what is that? I don't know. Guess I'm about to find out. It is 1.30 a.m. And I can't believe the off season is officially over. Wow. Time is really out here flying. How are you feeling, Hannah? Okay, Hannah, I don't bite. So, why were you crying? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm serious. So, why, why were you crying? It's my first time leaving it's my parents. It's not scripted. I mean, you can just. I know, but it's my first time leaving my parents for more than a month. More than a month. Yeah, and it like hit me the day that I was married, and I've been crying all day. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I couldn't even like hardly pack my. Dear Bailey. I'm just kidding. You said what? I couldn't hardly pack my stuff today because I was crying so much. Oh my gosh! Is your period about to come on? Yeah. <laughs> Too. Period sisters! I got a oh, a big old box. <laughs> oh I So you were crying because you're about to leave. You haven't left home for more than a month. Yeah. So like even when you left and went to France and was doing all that exploring by yourself. <laughs> I didn't care. I mean, I places. just knew that I was gonna come back. Like I knew that it was like a countdown, you know. Oh. Okay. But but now it's just like a like, countdown. Time seven months. Right. It's not like dang, I got 28 more days here. It's like dang, I got six more months here. Yeah. So. But the beauty of it is, it's an event and an adventure. Um, definitely some highs and it's definitely definitely some lows hopefully more highs than lows hopefully the only low this year will be you know JD going 0 for 5 <laughs> like for a night yeah. but other than that it should be fun and then we have each other and then for now don't, don't say that we don't know what's going to happen don't I mean, I get that. I mean, no, oh, that's not my plan. <laughs> Yo, no. I'm not even gonna think about that okay. because my plan is I have somebody. Dear, it really is. It really. Oh, <laughs> I was looking at the one over there. It was oh my real God. Dear. We almost <laughs> did not die. Um, what was I saying? Oh, my plan is. I'm so glad that you are my sister and we'll be on the road together because I'll have somebody that can like take down my braids and like grease my scalp without being like, oh my gosh, you don't wash your hair every day? <laughs> no, I don't because newsflash, I'm black. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what I'm excited about, just having somebody that can be on my level culturally. Yeah, which. I could get into that. That's another topic for another day. But um, that's what I was most excited about. And then you just happen to be my sister. So I am thrilled. I'm glad it worked out. 
I just wanted to give y'all a quick update. It is now four. It is now 4.15. I have an hour and 45 minutes until we roll out. And I still haven't packed. Um, but I'm trying. I'm trying. I got a little sidetracked. For the past 30 minutes, I've been um, doing stripper moves in my mirror in preparation for Valentine's Day. So, there's that. If I could just pay attention for maybe a good 30 minutes, I may could get this taken care of. Oh no, we're gonna see. Let me finish. Oh my God, thanks. The time is now 4.50, and I have a praise report. Wow, y'all, God just guided me through. in my bags he said get first get your summer clothes well no first I got my athletic wear because I'm trying to stay fine then he said get your summer clothes and so I got my summer clothes and then he said now get your winter clothes and then after that get your jackets and I did all of that and I have already finished two of whatever I just told y'all my athleisure and athletic wear and my summer clothes God is good look at that and they all are fitting in this suitcase like that was just one half of the suitcase I'm getting so good okay because of God but I'm just really amazed at myself I sound like I'm playing, but I'm serious. <sighs> now all I have left is, well, this is some more athleisure stuff I didn't realize. But all I have left is my winter clothes. I'm literally gonna wear like the same thing over and over again. These are bed sheets and I'm on my jackets over there. And then my shoes and that's it. God is good all the time, all the time, God is good. If I keep going at this pace, I am on track to finish just in time for us to leave on time. Wow, incredible. Y'all are probably like, oh my gosh, when is she gonna sleep? <laughs> I'm not. And if my driver act right tomorrow, then I'm gonna get to sleep in my car. Hopefully she drive more than four hours. Four hours and 30 minutes. Hopefully she just wanna drive the whole way. Because your girl ain't had no sleep. But I'm running off faith in gasoline. I really leave for the season in an hour. Let me get off this phone. The time is now 7.36 and I am finally packed up. I've been up for 24 hours. I'm ready to go to sleep. My driver's knocked out on the couch. The driver is knocked out on the couch. She's not my driver, like personal chauffeur. One of those would be nice right about. I just can't believe the season is here. So it's time to say my goodbyes. Goodbye, bed. Oh, what the heck? Goodbye, Lamp. Bye bye, Elanisha. Goodbye, Bertha.
Goodbye, fan. Goodbye, washroom. Bye-bye, kitchen. Goodbye, piano. Goodbye, house. So we finally leave my house about two hours behind schedule. Um, Hannah started off driving because I hadn't had any sleep. So I took a detour to La La Land for about four and a half hours. When I woke up, we made a pit stop at God's Favorite Restaurant, aka Chick-fil-A, and we had thrown. So I've barely driven 100 miles and I'm already bored beyond belief. So by the time we make it to the more than halfway point, then I'm about to lose my mind. Hannah's out for the count, so I do anything to keep myself busy. I do normal stuff like any other normal person would do. I practice my dance moves. I um, sometimes even practice my arguments just so they'll be nice and ready when I have to present them or use them on somebody like that. But ultimately, I have to give my fellow drivers what they really want. Front row tickets to Beyonce Live. to do carpool karaoke which is always fun this really passes the time
After carpool karaoke and nine long hours on the road, we eventually make it to our destination. Well, kind of our destination. We made it to Tampa. Lane to take exit one onto 21st Street and 22nd Street toward cruise ships. I am feeling, I'm feeling a sense of relief. We're here, we got over the hard part, which was the drive. Now all we have to do is swim in a pool, go to the beach, like support me, work out. Oh, and oh, work out. Take the exit. I'm gonna go find a job. I gotta stop sleeping on my feet. In half a mile, turn right onto North 21st Street wow, toward Port of Tampa. Are so rude. Wow. Okay, yeah. Puppy, how do you feel? We made it. We made it, Puppy. This is your first spring training. Is it? Tampa. It was Valentine's Day and it was kind of late, so we were just trying to make the best of it. JD picked him up in Tampa and Anthony drove me back to Anthony drove me to Dunedin which to this house which is really cute I can't wait to show you all this Airbnb that we found we tried to make the best out of Valentine's Day just do what you got to do you know I hope you've enjoyed our journey to spring training it was a hard one and a long one but it was well worth it Make sure you like and comment, but please make sure you subscribe to my channel because it's about to get popping. This is The Secret Life of a Baseball Life. I'm Bailey Offer.